Army shooting has occurred over a, a long period, so the recorded history that we're talking about is from the First World War. So we're close on that 100 years of Army shooting. So we have every unit in the Army is invited to compete. Every soldier is given the opportunity to compete. What you do have then is you have a logistics unit, for example, able to compete against an infantry battalion. We want that. And in this particular competition, we saw our reserve battalions coming to the fore. There is a little health, well, a lot of healthy competition between the team, which is nice to see. Overall, we did pretty well. Spent a couple of days on the range going over a few things and getting it sorted in your head, trying to get rid of the nerves on the day. <laughs> uh, we, we pulled it off. Um, our manager and our coach was awesome. Uh, and the team itself worked really well together. And I think at the end of the day, that's really all you can ask for. A part of the Army shooting competition is the testing uh, and the exercising of leadership. So leadership in the very fundamentals is getting the team ready and get them to do the same thing at the same time. Not only do you have to shoot well, there is a, a degree of control that comes with firing. So the team that does it with the least possible rounds and in the time, obviously will then gain maximum points. So one of the things about the Army shooting competition is it shows that soldiers with the right training given the standard rifle, can hit targets easily with one shot, 500 metres, that's what you want to see. Knowing what the weapon can do and knowing what you can do and pulling that all together on the day. The entire Army uh, shooting competition is to ensure that the basic skills of riflemanship are tested at the very highest level. And we do ultimately find out who is the best shot in our Army. But that's no good if you're not aiming to be the best in the world. And so the very next stage is we'll select a New Zealand Army combat shooting team and they will go and compete against other armies. That's when you find out how good your training is. I think there's a, a degree of uh, an inferiority complex because we're a tiny little army. We need to have a crack at the big guys. And when we take them down, the kudos that you get for your soldiers is incredible. And that's what we always compete for. We want to be the best.